Okay. Hello, YouTubers. This is Trictacular here today. And we're out for a demo ride on a 2015 Can Am Spider RT model. We just had a run down at the dealership on the different controls. Takes some getting used to uh, there's a little toggle switch to to change the gears and you don't have to uh, release the clutch which is something different as you're shifting the salesman was telling us We have my co-pilot, my wife is on the back right now. Comes with uh, heated seats, heated hand grips. Also for the passenger. There's just one foot brake by my right foot. And that's a ABS linked braking system. So on this road we're currently going around 58 to 60 kilometers an hour. That's about 40 miles an hour. I believe I have the windshield put up as high as it will go and I'm not experiencing any head buffeting. Very smooth. This is our first time riding a uh, Can-Am Spider. I've sat on them in the past at bike shows. We're currently in fourth gear. You feel a little bit of a sway as you're going around the corner. Mainly from the suspension, I believe. It automatically downshifts for you. So the shifting procedure takes some getting used to compared to my uh, 2014 Harley Davidson Triglide Ultra Classic. up to 60 kilometers an hour no problem in fourth gear close the uh, my uh, helmet here Hopefully the wind noise is not too bad. The audio is coming out okay. 
So there's a digital readout for the speed limit as well as your traditional uh, analog gauge. We didn't get away from the uh, fellow on the bike. I just gave him a little head nod. slow down here and for the school zone you can feel it as it shifts down although it just shifted down from fourth gear into third gear I guess we have to go a little slower and then it'll shift down into second and first gear. We've got a stoplight here. Yeah, it shifts down now too first gear shifting is pretty smooth with the toggle switch feels like you have to push it forwards maybe about half an inch or so it's just located here by my uh, left hand grip. So there's no clutch lever and no front brake lever like you would find on a traditional two wheeled motorcycle or, or trike. It's a beautiful sunny day today. We're located on the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. Today is Thursday. I believe it's about April the 18th or so, 2015. It has the uh, cancelling turn signals on it. Oop. 
hit the horn instead of the canceling turn signal. It has a lot of pep to it. Up to 67 kilometers, no problem. And I believe the uh, speed limit here is uh, 60 kilometers. If you turn the uh, handlebars pretty quick, you do feel some swaying from the uh, um, spider. So that's what I'm experiencing. You, you have to kind of do the steering, uh, turning in a rather slow fluid motion. really takes some getting used to uh, shifting without releasing the throttle. I'm so used to uh, r releasing the throttle like you would do a, a traditional motorcycle or trike. And then spatial awareness comes into effect with this as well. We've got the two wider wheels in the front as compared with the trike where the wheels are in the back so you have to think about objects on the road so you don't uh, run over them with the uh, rear wheel which is right along the middle of the chassis So I'd like to thank you for coming along on the uh, little demo ride we've done here with the 2015 Can-Am Spider. So until next time, this is Tritacular wishing you all a pleasant day. Bye bye for now.